What's up guys? In this video, we are going to be unboxing, installing, and reviewing the Eufy Security Camera 3. As some of you might know, we have had some issues with burglary in our recent past. So we do have some cameras set up around the shop and everything that is saved is on a hard drive. So it's not like up in the air. This particular camera system has some really cool features that our other cameras just don't. And so we wanted to have that little extra bit of security. So I wanna take you guys through everything. So we'll go ahead and unbox it and then we'll get it installed and review it for you guys. This is the S380 home base. It has a charging port, the ethernet connection, and two USB ports, and the top actually comes off, and you can, if you want to, you can insert a 16 gigabyte or any other type of hard drive into the home base, and you can have a ton of more storage than what it actually comes with. Then it comes with the S330 Eufy cameras. These are solar powered and they last up to 365 days without solar. So pretty much you never have to worry about them dying per se, but you can um, physically charge them and you do need to charge them for about eight hours before you use them so that they're good and charged up. This is the mount to mount these cameras. It just screws into the back. It's actually really easy to mount, very simple. It's pretty self-explanatory and these little mounts make it pretty easy for you to rotate the camera however you need to. It also comes with your charging port for your home base and it comes with your ethernet cable connection and it also comes with one charger for the cameras. And I actually have one, it's just a USB-C charger. So if you happen to have an extra one at home, you'll definitely want to use that so you could charge the cameras at the same time. And it also comes with the screws and any hookup that you need, as well as your Eufy security user manual, which comes with the instruction manual, as well as a, a Eufy sticker or decal. Honestly, I didn't even really need the, man the manual, but you have it in case you might need it. Like I said, you will want to charge your home base as well as your two cameras for about eight hours, just so that they're good and charged all the way. And then those should last up to 365 days without solar, but they will be solar powered. And like I said, it only comes with one USB-C cord to charge each camera so I just had an extra one laying around that I just grabbed and I used that and there is two USB ports on the back of the home base so you can charge both of them at the same time. So while we let these charge let's go ahead and talk about some of the Eufy Cam 3 features. So with just two hours of direct sunlight these cameras are fully charged and you don't have to worry about charging them because they will last 365 days without sunlight. So you don't really have to worry about cloudy days which is awesome for us here in the PNW because it's cloudy most days. It's also supposed to be pretty durable. It has 4K images, which I will show you in a bit, but I'm pretty impressed with the clarity of the video. It does have C color at night with a built-in starlight sensors and an f-stop of 1.4 aperture. So this is security system has uh, bionic mind AI learning. It can recognize individual faces. You can even save certain faces so that it recognizes you and won't notify you if you have that setting on. You, Like I said earlier, you can have up to 16 gigabytes of storage uh, on a hard drive. You manage all your UFI security cameras, doorbells, and sensors through the home base. Once your devices are fully charged, you'll want to connect your home base to the internet. Once you've done that, you wanna make sure you download the app and create an account so you have full control and you can see all of your security cameras. Once I was logged in and connected, it did do an update that took about five minutes. Once you are connected to the internet, you just open your app, follow each prompt, and it takes you through step-by-step step exactly how to connect everything. You will have to have your cameras within one meter of your home base in order to connect them. 
But once that's done, you can go ahead and mount your cameras. The mounting process is pretty easy. So you just figure out wherever you want to put your camera. It's like two screws and then you can easily unscrew each camera off of the mount itself and take it down if you need to. You're going to want to make sure your camera is angled so that you're getting direct sunlight and it is recommended that you hang your camera 7 to 10 feet above the ground. We installed a camera on each side of our bus so that we have a full view of anything that might be happening around us. I went ahead and set the cameras up and I walked outside to kind of see what the footage looked like. And honestly, that 4K footage, it's very clear. I'm very impressed with this picture. I don't think that my camera viewing it on the phone gives it justice, but it's pretty pretty clear compared to other cameras that we have used. So I'm pretty happy about that. So this is actually me checking the live view of each camera. And I was just checking to see like the quality and the sound. The sounds a little bit loud and overbearing, but it's just cars driving by, which I went ahead and took out because there's n no need for that. But I think you can see the picture a little bit clearer here. And I'm just really impressed with the quality of these videos. And you can go in the app and check your cameras at any time. Overall, I am definitely impressed by this camera security system. I will say it's a little bit more pricey than some and the only flaw that I could see was the distance. You can only have the cameras about 20 to 35 feet away from the home base, which is fine for a home, I guess. But I was hoping to put one of the cameras a little bit further back behind the shop so that we could kind of see a bigger um, area for where we park the bus sometimes. And we are stationary right now. We're at the shop kind of going through our things and downsizing and getting prepared to travel but we don't want to have a whole bunch of stuff here so we're just getting rid of stuff so since we're going to be here for a minute I wanted to mount the cameras on the actual shop so that if we're not here we can still keep eyes on it but we do have the option to connect the home base in the bus we do have mobile wi-fi so if we wanted to take these cameras with us we could mount them on the outside of the bus and have our home base inside connected to our Wi-Fi. But for now, we're gonna keep them just at the shop. I was really impressed with the quality of the video and the 4K footage. It was actually really clear. You could zoom in and, and see pretty good detail, which is nice because like I said, we had trouble with um, people stealing from us in the past and we actually did catch them on camera because we do have other cameras around here. But I feel like, this, the 4K footage or the, even just the better quality footage, we would have been able to see their faces a lot better. Luckily, they had tattoos and stuff and we were actually able to figure out who it was that was stealing from us. But this just gives us even more peace of mind that if something like that ever does happen again, like I do feel like if they are caught on these cameras, that they're gonna be a lot more identifiable versus other camera systems that we have used. So overall, I do like the Eufy Security Camera 3. If you're interested and wanna check out this system, it is linked in the description below. I hope that this video helped you out if you're interested in purchasing this particular camera, especially if you live an alternative lifestyle like we do. So thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you and I will see you guys on the next video. Especially if you live in alternative like we do.